It's your boy Zappa, Professional Stage Ninja, and welcome back to Super Robot Wars Impact. Let's make an impact. Actually, let's prevent an impact. Today's episode. Uh, where is this battle taking place? I saw it somewhere. Uh, Hundred Demon Scientific Island Fortress. Stage 27. Senbanwa Ozuru Takaku. The battlefield in the heavens above. Only 10 minutes. AKA turns left until the fortress squads of Japan and, and the Gondor squad. Who have just made it through to the fortress. Don't one rather doubt that sending this thing after you will make it easy, any easier to defeat. Size isn't everything. Right, it's astonished you made it through the AAA. A lot of AAA. And Ryoma doesn't even wait for orders before soon. How's up? Apparently the rest of your crew have been quite jostled around and are feeling lucky just to be alive. Small details aside, it's push or shove time, and time is running short. You've got to take out all the enemies in 10 turns. But do it in seven for the skill point. Now, a guide has recommended I only send Lene by herself. We will try this. Okay, so five and one and ten are back row, right, and then seven and three are front row. Let's sort out the ones that matter the most first. Uh, we'll send Domo. Uh, I expect you for combat, ideally. Four, okay. Five. Where's five at? Oh, five. Five is here, bot. No, you are not a front row. Damn it, I did the exact same thing I, I didn't mean to. Three, four, there we go. Three, four, five. Oh, it still rotates around. That's so weird. That's so jarring. It still applies on a circle. But I'm also not using the mini map. So, six. Six, seven. No, no, you're a front row. So let's. You can be six. No. You can be six. Seven. Eight. No, you don't go. There's not. You're like nine. I'm not missing someone of value. Heal bot. Alright. <coughs> and as they load up, we do remove. Today's delicious drink is Grande Rojo. Big Red. Consume drink. Enjoy drink. Be excited for next drink. Let's go. Ten minutes to wipe everybody out. Seven minutes for a skill point. Everybody goes fast. We don't have to go fast. We don't have to go fast. You have to go fast. You have to go fast. Don't go. Go fast. Did I turn? Do you have Axel yet? No. Koji doesn't have Axel. Lene has Axel. You have 
Axel. You have Axel. And you just have Raid. Get in there. So let's see what we have. I was gonna miss you. Again, mini map. Two there, two there. Okay. This is very small. But don't I don't count on it staying small. Is this Oh yeah. Become the turret. More points in the Mazinger's energy. Hmm. Big boy crits. Trying to calculate spreading out my firepower efficiently. Efficiently, my words. Shiny man, that's no upgrades. Not wasting my time on upgrades when they don't carry over. Sir, get your act together. Boom! 
fully upgraded weapons. Save the game! out of his effective range of one. Still got killed though. They know his weakness. Haha! Oh! Oh, I didn't see those back there. Burn it! Destroy! Appreciate big number. Dodge better. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Let's see what this enemy is. I don't recognize this tiny sprite. Sorry about that. Damn guys, I've seen them once. Lightning sword! No, it's... One side at a time.
punch a face. Too much high power. Too much. There we go. Chance to hit. I don't like those numbers. Hmm. All right, then. This should do some harm. Aha! That's a move. Kioski definitely can't get out there, so Kioski's gonna go over this way. Nope, wrong button. Don't dodge it. That a boy. And boat doken. How's your Oh, right. On turn two, Brian patiently orders more troops forward. Yep, come from the back seat. Uh, Bernie's impressed that all the bad guys in the way in the space, but Chris chimes him that this is not a good time to be impressed. Next turn is about time to 
put some love in the battlefield. Boy, be defeated. <sighs> Destroy. Yeah, that's not what I'm saying. You can get that. He's really helping to bring them out. Free move. High person behind the pillar. Pillar man. Dodge. Don't move. Turn up. Back here. Then. Well, then hit them. This is permissible. Aw, oh, damn it. Watch that one. Supposed to use love. Oh well. That's why we have Sayaka. Only one? Not gonna bother.
that should kill you immediately. Bam, you're done. Go fast. on the support. Give him the breast fire. You need to watch some of these animations. That was hilariously pathetic. Yeah, corn better. Get healed, my boy. Yeah, crit. Skeptical, but gotta have faith.
Aha! Plink. Like MC Hammer say. Can't touch this. Build up. Damn, even with the eye feel. Oh no! Be safe, Dunbine. Supposed to get some reinforcement on this turn. What? Pathetic. We'll save. Just gotta make sure they last with you. Become unto a wall. Yeah, critical. No, this is fine though. It's within parameters. Stay on target. What do y'all should be done on this turn? Perfect. And there's King of Hot. Step out of time. What's your best push? Three. Good. I think you can eat one hit. Exactly one. Or I'm stupid. Reload. Far back did I just lose? Mm, a couple of steps. I think this is fine. Find out in a second how much I lost. I know that was a critical last time. Is a kill shot easily. Okay, that 
swing. Swing. For some reason, no, you don't. Just a Yeah, crit! That means you die on your next attack. In this shape, the move. The move. Alright. Definitely kind of run you over this way. Yeah, crit! Which means you should die on your next turn. Who's left? Bernie. Bernie. We're safe here. And find out where Hitler shows up. There. Our boy is now in position. This girl. Well, it's full heal. So let's just crack you right in the middle. Now hold on. Yeah. 
both of those should die on counter. Hope for the best. Ah, dang, I should have put Bernie on the other side. This is fine. Right? I think this is fine. Anyway, Hitler shows up on turn four asking Bride to leave this to him. Chim is so hyped up and excited that she's getting in Show's way, pointing at Hitler. Dang it, you're not supposed to come out there. Outside my effective range. How did you miss? Mm. You will defend. Definitely gotta protect the heal bot. Are you attacking Kyosuke like the fool? You're attacking Kyosuke like the fool. Counter! Oof! Crit. Not a fan. Continue to punch face! Definitely needs to throw get her over there as soon as he can get there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put in work. Please, to defending. And you're getting yourself killed. No, 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 no. There. Bam! Punched. Get out. Okay. Nope, not wasting that. That's too much high power. Hmm. Maybe that was the right amount of power. I am just dumb. I'm lump. That's the move. Alright. Sword cut level three. Ah! There we go. On turn five, who should appear but Dangayo? Tarzan has sent them right to the center of the battle with his usual flair. Gil and the bunkers are heading for Earth, but of course you don't have time for that right now. You do feel that victory is now more assured than ever before. So let's handle... Let's see if we can't try to move you closer, faster. You have to run your ass over there because it's time. Uh, XL. Mm, what's your morale? Your morale is it garbage. Let's fight. Cross fight. Okay, you can't do that again. It's fine. The awesome low level boys. You can turn up. Didn't someone like get punched really hard? Uh, I'm just kidding. Okay. Well then, 
Okay, you have that, therefore, heal Sayaka. Alright, so it says hurry up. Anything in range doing that? Oh. Nothing either. Then I know what I'm doing with you. Delete. Bernie still gets to hit those flagships. Hmm, he gets to hit one flagship. Or that main ship. Initiate the move. Hmm. No, if I just save it for next turn. These guys are not going to move. Can we not be on this can't be on this panel? That's rude. Turn up. Big smash. Less damage. You got, you got one heal. So solve that problem. Mm -hmm. Do this. Here. Might as well make this hit worth it. a game that he ever got sun attack chaos mode. Well, that was definitely the right move. The Domo. Mm.
これで決まりだはあ、俺のこの手が光ってもなるお前を倒せと輝く叫ぶな I like my own awful song. Back. What heals? Gain. Dash up. Dodge. Do you have? No, you don't. You don't have. Angry move. Todd did. Todd had get angry. Okay, you are here. We need. Well, it's fine if you're on the other side. You're super out of range. Oh, he went hyper. That's a good hit. Dragon boat, get on the boat. It's the dragon boat. Who's? I don't even know who this is. Hmm. Whatever. It's a move. It's putting down some numbers.
Alright. Turn five. Two more turns to really put in a whole lot of work. Brian, in turn, gets pissed off and decides to fight you himself. This could be the end of the Hunter Demon Empire if the two sides stop trading insults on him. Oh, why are you all the way back there? He's tap dancing Christ. It's open. Sword cut. Got him on the crib. Okay. and die to when you're stupid. See what's attacking you. Settle. Take this. My love, my sword, and all of my grand dashes.
Ba, ba, ba. Complete. Too bad, 10,000 damage in, at, at least. Why couldn't I say that word? In total, at least, whatever. Okay, we well, got, gotta have hot blood. Fuck you, Yaku. This is all you can give me, huh? Will not get hit while we're at it. Might as well find someone to heal while we're at it. Dragon Boat's fine. Going bad later. Uh, let's heal that. Go forth. Hmm. Can at least get a support attack. Damn, put in work. Number. Let's put in work. How much smash? Big smash. Champ! It's enough! Glorious! Uh, okay. oh, nothing in particular about Hitler dying. Big dollars, though. Yeah, the, the 
that's not it. This did not execute well. What are words? This is only turn five, though, right? Is turn five, or turn six. This is turn six, which means I have all of this and the next. Good, you don't get defended. Which means... Who has... Yeah, yeah. I found you're gonna get punched a lot. so bad. <sighs> that number could be bad, but it could also not be bad. Hey, boyo! Delicious trump card! It's all yours! Mm. Yeah, you sure did that. You around, finish that heal. Mm, I don't think I'm gonna get anybody close enough. Toby Kage has appeared. Seems to think everyone's gonna go in our favor, but all of my attackers are way too far away. I am the fool. Toby, you're attacking the wrong man. Yeah, this isn't gonna go the way I want. This is fine. This last move. What the heck move is this? I've just encountered a new spell. Cast alert and strike on the user. Thank you. 
Holy shit, you are! Go forth! Number, but... But... Oh, definitely have to replay this for a skill point later. I think I'm gonna get it. Try something, Domo. Put in some numbers. People are landing crates. That's much appreciated. execute this. Yes. <sighs> 
that's not what I want. Try something slightly different. And if we don't get the skill point today, which is very not likely, I will addendum this and I don't know, re upload maybe? Or just tack this on to another episode. Apparently, you can't even post a move. Okay, I do think will work. I think this is the big move we want. Get on turn eight. Now that I know how to better execute this fight.
let us simply execute this one. I believe. So you have a map. What the actual fuck is this shape? That's just a back and forth swoop. Need out. All right, who's taking it? Bernie, produce dollars. He's astounded that this great fortress could be taken down and won't accept it. Whether he accepts it or not, it's the truth. Kabuto informs that demons are suited to go into hell. All that remains is crashing the fortress. I still have to clear up the freaking riffraff? So rude.
sniped. No. no. No sniping. Sniper, no sniping! I couldn't even hit you with that if I wanted to. I guess you're sniping. Plink. One last save here. Come on. Okay. That's that. Garrison finds the main power plant right under where Bryce Throne is, and Hazuki at least has, has the least damage mecha plant explosives on. Wait, what? Where Brystone is, and Hoski has the least damage mecha plant explosives on it. What? Uh, this isn't gonna matter, so. I think there's some people that can still have an SP boost. An SP boost? Hey, that's a free axe. That's equipment. Okay. Hazuki has the least damage mecha plant explosives on all the heavily damaged mecha are recovered quickly. Scratch 100 demons and assorted equipment of theirs. Scratch that off the list. However, as Hayato notes, perhaps more than just coincidence that for demons, they look a little more humans. The fortress is going down. Quick. Looks like Bryce wants a military might was no match for good old ass whooping, courtesy of the squad. Most of the enemies should be touched by now. Unfortunately, Dr. Hell, who somehow just uh, survived getting killed by Koji, and the Mikeni are still doing something behind the scenes. The real question is how to balance out hunting Dr. Hell and breaking into Jabra. She almost figures that you can leave Dr. Hell be for now, since it's going to be some broken down wreck after the ass handing you experienced before. Kabuto, here, hopes that that's the case. Unfortunately, you don't have time to sight and see at the new floating island. Hundred demon or can't or some enemy robot has been spotted on the south side of Jaburo. Seems so that both of those groups should have gone down and played, which is very disappointing. Everyone has to get the bridge as Kyosuke gets another one of his bad feelings. Enishirea, Haman, is impressed that your people managed to stop the colony drop. Mashamar comes at her summons. She tells him that the Federation is still in uproar over the alien invasion, as is Neo Zeon to a much lesser extent. She tells Mashamar that the new machines will destroy the Londo Bell. He accepts her order, asking what she plans to do about matters on the surface. Mashamar suggests striking at the military strength of the Federation in both areas at once. And she tells her not to be so hasty. Glemmy's men have already been dispatched to Jarrell that, and she met something interesting among the survivors of the Titans. Mashmar protests politely. Harman's, Haman's choice of Glenny, and while Haman agrees, she wants to see how that reacts. She tells Mashmar to focus all his efforts on taking down the Londo Bell, looking forward to his success. He's very grateful at her words, promises to be worthy of them. Dangayo's squad, note that the Earth is in much chaos as ever, and Bernie says things have actually calmed down some. Space is still a mess too, with some vegetable planet having appeared. Well, she's not supposed to have mentioned that. Apparently it used to be just a lump of rock, but it's getting bigger and heading towards Earth. Tetsuya smiles at the irony, and just as the colony jump has been stopped, 
An asteroid or something is inbound. Apparently Brett has some kind of plan. We asked him to pass the word along, Demo. Hoski is informed and gets on the horn to Bright. Bright wasn't trying to hide it unnecessarily. Hoski understands. Bright's reconnaissance show that while there's no problem yet, the object definitely contains some dangerous stuff. Man shapes dangerous stuff. At least the other enemy activity is quieting down, although it could be folly to let your guard down now. Fortunately, the Cosmo family's crossbow. The Cosmo family? I don't feel like that's the right translation, but whatever. The Cosmo family's crossbow and vanguard is apparently becoming active according to recent information. As Bright and Arbor wish to fight its end, Bright has to hang up and go fight a battle. Bright leaves and the Neo Zeon forces on the ground up to you and signs off. Insular? Genius has finally, at long last, completed his dream mech. His child, the Aspalus. Three. Zabine notes caustically that just finishing it doesn't equal proving its use in battle. Gideas thanks Sabine for helping him get ready to wreak vengeance on the Federation, but Sabine tells him to thank the Iron Mask. He's merely come to check on Gideas' progress. With the flourish, Gideas shows he had completed Aspalus 3! Ugly and unconventional, much like its mysterious sponsor. Gideon has resolved to gather all his remaining forces and take down Jaburo. He has out to Aina to witness the power of his Aspalus! Right before you invade Jabs, the journey to Jaburo's. Go into reprovision in Kawasaki City. The Nabisco is supposed to be there after being formally installed in the Federation after being formally installed in the Federation military. I can talk good. Hoski sure isn't sure how this happened, since their cause objective is solely the Scarapelli project, i.e. the reclamation of Mars. Probably their girl hoped to gain a military's help by letting the Nabisco be drafted. Evidently, problems on Mars are bigger than the Nabisco can handle alone. And while you are all eventually planning to go to Mars to... A whole mess with Hazard and the Mars reclamation base has been backburned. Backburnered. Besides, you can't just... Go to Mars, unless uh, via Bozen Jump. And that effect on living crew members isn't exactly reassuring. After everybody finishes maintenance and helps reprovisioning, Hotsky gives everyone some shore leave. I don't know if this is all the same madness, but the girls are going to go shopping, and Banjo decides to see if he can break into Nerd Call and. <laughs> Sniff around for some fun. Admiral Moonet Tucker was yelling at the number four. Telling them that it was only due to his hard work that they, as civilians, did get kicked off the military warship. Now they've ought got gum soldiers. Marie is not impressed, but Akats, he says it shouldn't matter since everyone is fighting for peace on Earth anyway. When Itaki screams and whines some more about how the military can't just let a battleship like this participate in a friendly and not allied manner as it has in the past. Besides, anyone leaving the ship now would attract some rather unfriendly surveillance. Rui wonders who brought in the Moon Itaki on such short notice. And Arina calls and tells everyone that they want them to remain on board. I missed the sentence in somewhere. Okay, everyone tells everyone that if they want to preserve peace on the Earth and free the Martians, their only choice is to remain on board. Okay, but still the same person. Akito isn't sure he wants to make war his profession, and we're talking about gladly reprimand him. Remand. Re gladly remand him. That's not. Uh, remand him to just being a cook. Seeing it as a plan on trusting an Austin Boss to someone like him anyway. He gleefully tells Akito that they don't even need a spare cook. And there's no place on the Nadesco for him. Boot it off. Apparently, Megumi left in a disco too, to be with him. Akito will probably go back to being a cook, although he's looking forward to being called a pilot washout. He's never worried too much about what he wanted to be, but in the end, it appears that nobody called his number either. Arina shows up just then, saying that she'll gladly call his name. Megumi figures it's just to keep Akito under surveillance, but she tells Akito there's a job that only he can do. 
Akito knows that the Joby lizards can use your teleportation, aka bows and dump, to stage attacks just about anywhere. Turns out the Nerd Girl has a separate effort from the military to understand how this system works. What does this have to do to Akito? Well, Joby lizards' weapons are unmanned, and the Crocs' crew got wiped out. The question is, how was the Nadisco able to survive? Akito appears to be the key, as Banjo apparently cuts in. Beauty is on the scene too, as is Reika, and Toppa, and Inez. This is kind of ludicrous, but also intensely scientifically interesting that Akito and the crew managed to pose and jump alive. If this were possible more widely, the conditions of the world could be very, very different. Or the conditions of the war, rather. Mind you, the Martians appear to not have made organic bows and jumps work, but the Earthlings have to get there first. The way Arina says this makes it sound like Nergal knows more about the Joving Lizards than they are letting on. That nah, she hotly denies. Very angrily. Despite Akito's belief that he has no special powers, Arina is convinced that he's the key to organic bows and jumping. She asks Akito if he recognizes a certain pretty blue stone that she's got. Not a stone, in fact, but a shard of a tree. Banjo catches on to what she's saying, watching an amusement. It's a CC, or a short for Tulip Crystal, a damn frightening jet. Whatever, it's, that's a weird translation thing, why not? Uh, it's a CC, short for Tulip Crystal, discovered on Mars. It is in fact just like Akita's memento of his father, which he lost on Mars. These crystals are in fact the same make as the tulips, and the CCs are the trigger for the bows and jump. The like Akito experienced on the day of the incident. When he came to Earth from Mars. A day that a tulip landed on the Utopia colony. A day he couldn't save some girl named I? I don't remember that from the anime. I don't remember it. I'm saying it didn't happen. The day when the next thing he knew he found himself on Earth. Apparently, Akito is the only one that can use the CCs as, them, as he has demonstrated twice. The question Banjo has is why Akito in particular is important to that equation. But just then, the Jovian lizards are attacking, and they're at are they after the Gondor or the Nadesco? Or maybe they're after the T Otomo Corporation, i.e. their god itself. And thus, chapter 5 has concluded. In the next episode, uh, we'll probably open up with, you know, skill point get, as is tradition. And then we'll proceed to chapter 6, or scene 6, whatever you want to call it. Just remember, as always, you know, follow the little icon at the end of this video. Like, if you like it, share it, maybe subscribe. But as always, Zeke Zeon.